Hi everyone! This time I have a Shure BLX receiver for repair. This thing does not power up and I tested the power supply with a different unit. There is no problem with the power supply but when I press the power button nothing happens. Let's take a look. I took the cover off as we can see, this is a compact receiver with two internal antennas. The RF section is here. Analog and digital stuff is here. The microcontroller is here under this label. And the power supply stuff is here. And I see a big problem. Apparently, someone has been inside. These two capacitors seem to be either replaced or resoldered. There is a missing voltage regulator here, and one more here. And there is an arrow on the board pointing to a tiny chip here, which looks burnt. I don't like this at all. I probed around for a while, and here is what I found so far. This is the 12 volt input. This voltage regulator is supposed to produce 9 volt uh, rail from that. There's a test point here. And this voltage regulator uh, gets uh, that as input and uh, provides a 5 volt rail. There's a test point here. And this small uh, burnt chip uh, seems to be another voltage regulator that gets 5 volt rail as input and provides a 3.3 volt rail and that rail is uh, shorted to the ground, or nearly shorted, with about 1 ohm resistance or something like that. And uh, the 5 volt rail has about 18 ohms to the ground. So my guess is that someone started troubleshooting here, desoldered uh, the voltage regulators and capacitors, trying to figure out what was wrong with the rails and then found this burnt chip and gave up at that point. Let me show you the problem. Let's use this as the ground point. This is the 9 volt rail test point. The resistance to the ground is about 1.7K, which is probably fine. This is the 5 volt rail test point. 19 ohms to the ground, which is probably too low. Here it is on the capacitor right next to the 3.3 volt regulator. And here is another capacitor on the output from that regulator, almost shorted to the ground. Here is the ground. And uh, here is this rail on a capacitor right next to the microcontroller. So I really hope that the microcontroller is OK, otherwise this thing is hopeless. Here is this burnt chip, 5-pin package, and this is not SOT23-5, it is smaller than that. This pin seems to be the input 5 volt rail, and this pin is the output 3.3 volt rail. This pin is connected to the ground, this pin is not connected at all, and this pin, I checked, it is connected to the input and to this capacitor, which is also connected to the ground on the other side. So I guess this is unused enable or something like that. And marking is C00. Here I am on DigiKey trying to find this chip. So I figured that the package is SC70, so I selected it here. And the voltage is 3.3 volts, so I selected it here. And uh, there are 99 results in this search, so I clicked and clicked through data sheets, and most of them have different pinout. And finally, I found this, CPEX SP6213. 
N14. And 62.13 has the pinout we want. And most other chips I found uh, had this pinout as 62.14. And uh, here uh, is the marking. And uh, here we have C00 for 3.3 volt version. Perfect. But they are not available at all on DigiKey or Mauser or anywhere else. But here they mention that um, 6213 is 100 milliamp replacement for 80 milliamp MIC 5213 or TC1016. And I looked those up. And based on them, I found that uh, there is TC1017, here it is, which is another improvement, 150 milliamp version. And it is available for 54 cents a piece. And here it is, with the right pinout, and also traditional, I would say, pinout, uh, because most of uh, other chips had uh, this one. And uh, it has letter R at the end. So this one uh, without R should work just fine. I removed the burnt chip, but unfortunately the resistance to ground is still the same on both. The input 5 volt rail, here it is, about 19 ohms, and the output almost shorted to the ground. And that's a bad sign, and I don't quite understand how both can happen at the same time. I understand, let's say, shorted 3.3 uh, rail because something else is dead, but how could that affect the 5 volt rail? I'm not sure. So, I'm injecting 3.3 volts right across the capacitor next to the microcontroller and I remove the sticker from the microcontroller to see if it gets warm. And for now I limited the current to 100 milliamps. That is what the voltage regulator was capable of. And of course we are hitting the limit and the voltage is very low, about 76 millivolts. And at that power nothing shows up. So I will increase the current limit until something starts glowing. And now at 600 milliamps I see a hot spot and unfortunately this is the microcontroller. So I desoldered the microcontroller and the short is gone. As you can see 3.3 volts and about 24 milliamps. This is a freescale microcontroller. I believe it belongs to NXP these days. And of course the firmware is in its internal flash memory. And without the firmware this thing is hopeless. So unfortunately this is not fixable unless I find the donor unit with a good microcontroller and something else beyond repair. You cannot win every time. Thanks for watching. Bye.